just wanted to make a brief video about Bible commentaries and introductory books to the Bible. You know, that companies like Zondervan and Baker make a lot of these introductions to the Bible. Here I have a, a whole Bible commentary by Zondervan. And I'm not saying that a lot of this stuff isn't good. I have them in my library. I use them uh, on different occasions. But, so I, I serve in a, uh, a prison as a chaplain, and I had one of the, the little introductions to the Bible. I think it was by Baker, I could be wrong. And it was, you know, 100 pages or so, and it was just an introduction to the Bible. But, you know, you expect that to go to a new Christian, someone who is, you know, wanting to learn more about the Bible. And yet there are three big things that a lot of these introductions or even commentaries will say, you know, that have been written in the past, you know, 20 or to 30 years. Number one, right as they start in Genesis, they will give credence to evolution, not just as a competing theory, but oftentimes saying, well, it's up in the air, and, and some people say day is 24 hours, and some say it's not, and it's not conclusive, but the scientific, you know, explanation, yada, yada, yada. Number two, uh, they will also say that especially Pauline authorship is doubted uh, by many scholars and so about half of Paul's letters are in, in terms of the uh, academic crowd are totally written off as not written by the Apostle Paul and some of these introductions to the Bible will note that and say yeah we're not sure if Paul wrote this and then number three um, especially whenever you read 1 Corinthians 7 They'll say that the apostles expected the second coming to happen in their lifetime, uh, but they were wrong. And the book I had in prison to, to hand out especially said this. They said that Paul thought that Christ was going to return in his lifetime, and that's why he told certain Christians not to marry or and to remain celibate, etc., etc., because of the present crisis. And they say that just, you know, that's about the second coming, and they don't say, well, it could be about things that were going to happen in 70 AD, or it could be about certain persecution that was happening in the first century. They just say, no, the apostles, especially Paul, expected the second coming to happen in his lifetime, and he was obviously wrong about this. And, you know, how does that cast the apostle Paul? That he was, that in his mind, he was certain the second coming was going to happen, and then it didn't happen. Um, these are introductory books, and some that's going to be given to someone who's new in the Lord. And I was really mad because I, I left that little booklet on the table intending to bring it home and use it for a video like this. But one of the men that came into Bible study um, actually took it with him. And so uh, I'll have to keep my eye out to see who has that. And I can give him a little bit of a forewarning that not everything written in these books uh, are at all helpful or credible, even though they come from a, a reputable publisher and they have a nice front cover. But just I make this video say, be careful um, what you're given and what you uh, hand out. Uh, stick to older things. Stick to older commentaries that have not been influenced by higher criticism and by the evolutionary theory. Um, stick to um, commentators, and not all, all in the past, there are a lot of really good Bible commentators that live in our day, but who take seriously the claims of the inspiration of the Bible and who don't believe that uh, the apostles were as they were writing scripture, um, including their own opinions, fancies, and um, wrong predictions. Um, some of these introductory books and commentaries will say that, and they'll say it in a very nonchalant way, but to someone who is not prepared to hear that, and who takes it seriously at face value, it's going to just shake their confidence in the scripture. And so, um, be careful what you buy, be careful what you read, and have a foundation on believing the, the inspiration of Scripture and the um, importance of taking the Word at face value before you dip your uh, nose into some of these things that have been produced and published and widely distributed in the past uh, 30 to 40 years. The Lord bless you. Bye.